We all know what it's like to fall asleep at work and wake up in the zombie apocalypse. Well, that's the story of our survivor here. Her name is Kat. She was a gas station attendant. She dozed off for a few short moments and woke up and the apocalypse was upon her. We will share her story together and watch until the day she dies. Enjoy the series. Enjoy. What is good, everybody? Back with our girl. We've named her Cat after my favorite gas station and the person who works there. Had an adventurous episode one. If you're just finding this video, I want to encourage you to go in the description and find the series from the start. And watch it. It was an adventurous one. I don't know where I am. I'm not really using the map. Not using I Survive. We are just cruising and surviving and telling her story as we go. So we know that she worked at a gas station, but what city, what state? You call it out in the comments below. We got an IJ and a Sledgy. And I like it. Right. The full server. Forget what server it is, but it's full. I feel like there's usually an event right here. Ah, let's get some converse. Alright, we're gonna head over there towards that smokestack. Get some sneakers. Need some pants. I like the fit besides besides the pants. Yes, keep eating. Staying fed in the apocalypse. We killed that chicken in episode one and that maniac came at me like, I just want to cook my chicken. Quote of the series so far, I just want to cook my chicken. Well, if you like chilling and uh, you're not necessarily a 12 year old jacked up on Mountain Dew and Pop-Tarts and you like surviving with uh, somewhat of a balance of PvE and PvP and just surviving as a survivor would and maybe should in DayZ, you might like this channel. So subscribe. Read every comment and uh, try to respond to every comment. Do my best. But yeah, I like this survivor. It's gonna hurt when she dies and she might die today. Alright, let's see. I'm probably gonna check out that hunter stand over there all around yonder. Could use a hunter jacket. I really could use pants. Livonia, what is your, what is your uh, thoughts on Livonia? Do you like Livonia or Tanaris better? If you're watching this, you probably like Livonia better. Hearing some noises. Hear a gunshot. Some cereal. Another gunshot. All right, cereal. Question for you: What's the most recent cereal you've eaten? Not your favorite. The most recent. An IJ right there. Most recent cereal I've eaten is Raisin Bran Crunch, which is actually a sneaky good cereal. Let's see. It's, it's good shape. Pristine. I think my other one's pristine. I'm hearing weird noises. Pristine. We'll just take the mag. There was nothing in the, in the chamber. Now I'm really hearing weird noises. That thing's clanging around. Yeah, so we named her Cat, uh, and when she dies, the next survivor up, if it's a man, will be Johnny, because Johnny wears a cowboy hat. He's a fellow I know in real life. We'll get back to Esme, we'll get back to Daisy. If you're like, where's Esme, where's Daisy? Those series is, is. Daisy's on a long pause until Esme's adventure wraps up. This series is because I'm on a trip, and uh, I've recorded stuff ahead of time. So you can enjoy videos while I'm on my trip. 42, it's not in great shape, but it is more carry capacity. I don't like it. I like the bomber jacket better, but this is survival right now. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. But I think, I'm not sure if it's warmer in the condition that it's in, but it is more carry slots and I don't have a bag yet. So we will take it. Gunshots just echoing in the distance. 
I'm gonna say there's a high probability today. Today is the day Cat meets her maker. But we'll try not to let that happen. Beautiful, beautiful map. Look at this. The sun, the way it's coming through, the shadows, the sounds. It's such a good game. I don't know if this is gonna have anything for me in here. I don't know what kind of stuff spawns in here. I feel like it's gonna be industrial stuff. Water's getting low. It's not good. And I'm playing this without I Survive. I'm vi somewhat familiar with this map, but not ultra familiar. Uh, could I use more rags? I probably could, just in case. A steak knife is ruined. Okay. Um... Let me go ahead and fix my hunter jacket. We're going to keep moving. This hydration thing is going to get us. Actually wouldn't mind knocking out a few zombies for the loot. fire station right there. <clears throat> There's a base build going on up there. Means this area is not safe. But where is, really? I do feel like my best bet is zombies. I like that. Hopefully a well. Come on, give me a well. I feel like there's going to be a well in here. Right in this city center. Let's, let's loot this. But I'm enjoying the immersion of not using I Survive. Trenaris, I know. I think I know pretty much every well, especially on the coast. Ah, oh, yes, a bag. That'll help. But this map, I haven't played as much. Vitamins, double stack. Double stack. Some real gloves. Okay. This bag in better shape than the one I have. Worn. I think this one's worn too. Okay. Stack them. And uh, let's eat this. Ugh. <clears throat> Okay, there's got to be a well right in here. Those salty sticks, ah, they're making my hydration go down. I actually thought of that, but I rolled the dice anyway. I think maybe it'll go up. There's got to be a well right here. There has to be. No. Yes. All right, don't get murdered while you're getting a sip of water. I hate to just get sniped from right there. A lot of those are abandoned, though. They get raided so much. That one looks fairly intact. I don't see anyone moving. Alright, we're going to get moving in a second here. That was fun, finding that well without using a map. Alright, we're back in white. We'll come back to this in a second. More chicken. We can cook that up. What do we got? Cleaver. Nice. Leave it to Cleaver. 
dad joke. Terrible. Okay. I'm going to venture into the police station. See if we can get a shoddy. I got some rounds. I got some shells. Probably ruined, yeah. Oh, a field vest. Take it. Heck yeah. So, I don't think that... Does that spawn here on this map? I kind of don't think it does. Shotgun. With some rounds in it. Were these pants? I could use some pants. Jacket. Jacket looks cool, but the jacket I have on is way better. I haven't heard anybody moving about. They could be pointing a gun at the door, and as you can see, I'm not great at like clearing rooms in Daisy. I'm good at dying while checking rooms in Daisy. I'm good at talking to people though. Like I've talked my way out of a lot of deaths, I feel like. Okay, paper. I might actually grab that paper so I don't have to get bark when I want to fire. Is that funny? That's not funny. What are they shooting over there? It's not like they're just clearing zombies, maybe, from a rooftop. I think I get another sip of water. And then try to find that chicken. Because we got to keep eating. Look at my... Shadow looks so cool with the cowboy hat and the gun and all. I'm not comfortable here. Okay. Save some for the fishes, as Coach Camilleri would say when we're at the water fountain in PE in elementary school. Coach Camilleri, back in the day, we didn't bring water bottles to school. We didn't bring like these big, heavy water bottles. We just drank water from the water fountain. And after PE, we played dodgeball or kickball or catch the flag. Coach Camilleri would stand by the water fountain and he'd count it to three while we like just chug down as much water from that little water fountain stream as we could. And he'd always say, save some for the fishies. And I actually thought there were fishes in the water fountain for a long time. I thought it was kind of gross that I'm drinking like fish pee water. But I was thirsty. I just played kickball. I really thought that. Really thought that. That might be a funny question. I know some of the series I read all your comments. This one I can't, as I've said, I'm on the road. But if you want to write down, that's a pretty good find. If you want to write down in the comments something you believed as a kid that was funny, I got a few of them. Then go ahead and write them down. I'll show you another one maybe next episode. I know you'll be like, I don't know if I want to watch this guy's channel anymore. Ah, but I do want to find out. I do want to find out what he thought as a kid that's not true anymore. So I, I guess I'll subscribe and watch the next episode. It's a pretty good hook. I don't think I want to go any closer to that. I'm listening to that chicken. I was talking. I wasn't paying attention to where it is. I think it's the other way that I'm going right now. Blowtorch, that can be really cool in the right context. I've never used them, but I have friends who've used them. Ooh, a freaking sword. Dude, cat just got really cool. Do I even need the sledgy anymore? And slugs? Wow, what a garage. Ha! Ah! Huh. That is freaking ridiculous. Yes, I'm happy with that. Dude, what kind of gas station attendant is this girl? She is so cool now. Box of nails. 
You know what, I think I am gonna grab a box of nails, believe it or not. I know I dumped one. But maybe we get a little crate going. Maybe we get a little uh, stash going in the woods. Maybe we uh, get a little base going. Starting to think beyond just surviving today. I should start collecting um, cloth and getting a rope together. I should have grabbed that other shirt that I left behind. Me around? Yes. Very cool. Is this full? It is now. That was a good line. Gotta admit, that was a good line. It is now. Might be the quote of the episode. Here's a question for you. What was the quote of last episode? The quote of the day? That can be a good little string in this series. What was the quote of the day in the first episode? I don't know if that'll give me rags. I think it'll give me armbands. Oh, it does. Okay. Need 12. To get a rope. I got some bones. We can fish if I can get a rope. Oh, five. Dang. That was nice. Five. And what do we get on the first one? Four. That's nine. By my calculations, we only need three more. That was a good house. Sewing kit. I have all this vest, like I'm, I'm all survival from the waist up and like jammies from the waist down. I should get a shoddy out. I kind of want to kill a zombie with this sword. I want that bag for sure. Uh, bolt. I don't have a crossbow, would be awesome. Love the crossbow. Right, I'm not really happy about doing this here. Take the army pouch, grab everything out of here, especially my sword. Okay, leveling up. Alright, got my wish right here. Sword used to be OP. I don't I don't think it still is. I think it's just like, I... That was pretty good. Hope that's not on me. It sounds like it's in front of me. It sounds like it's over that way I'm facing. Yeah, I think I'd see it. <laughs> Excuse me, see it by now. Sword was cool. Sword was cool, did not disappoint. Sickle's good, but I don't need it right now. I got the cleaver, I got the sword, I got enough blades for now. For now. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me for being human, but I'll never apologize for that. That could be the quote of the day. Excuse me for being human, but I'll never apologize for that. That was clever. Yes. I'm going to save my sword. And I'm going to burn through this. Craft rags. Next episode, we'll be fishing. Maybe we'll build a little crate. We'll need a saw. We can build a crate. We can start a little camp. I don't know that we need... To build a full-on base, just a little base camp would be nice. You know? Like in the woods, where we like go to like put our stuff. Start like getting um, stuff to make a stove, like a little stove top. Dang it. You know, so we can cook, like... We can cook on the stove with the gas, ca gas canister, all that stuff, the pot. Starting to dream, becoming a dreamer here. Yes. Take it. Am I sitting or squatting? I am. Got my sword. The sword of Damocles. I don't really know what that is. I already checked that. But it's a phrase. I've heard it said. And there's the sword of the Lord and Gideon. I know that's a phrase. Lockpick. 
Alright, so a saw. We're actually fit to go fishing. We don't have any food. So fishing would be real good. Do we have any food? Oh, we have the can of Skeddy. Might as well eat it now. Stay full. Opening my can of Skeddy with a sword. Doesn't get more apocalyptic than that. Okay. Did I even open it? Did I finish opening it? I didn't. I didn't finish opening it. Ah, I got too excited. Is this ruined? Ruined. Just burning through stuff here. But that's all right. You know what? I don't need that. We're going to enjoy this can of Skeddy after we lock our doors and call that episode two. For our girl Cat in the apocalypse, still looking for a cool pair of pants. But she's got a cool sword, she's got a shotgun. How many doors I have to lock? I think those are all the three, yeah. Okay. Airtight. Do I have to lock this one? Can people get in this way? They could get in this way. Four doors, man. I'm gonna burn through this lock pick. Look at this whole house is freaking doors. Who designed that? Cleaver. Alright, we're gonna enjoy my skeddy. And just kind of exhale and have like a moment of peace and reflection here in the apocalypse. Good day too for Cat. Heard a lot of gunfire. Fortunately didn't see any shooters. Got a can of Skeddy, got a sword, got a shotgun. It was a good day too. Yeah, she might have a brighter future than we think. And uh, she's going to have a lie down. Because I meant to hit sit down, but it missed. All right, if you're looking for more fun stuff to watch until the next episode drops for Cat, which will continue her story, click one of these on your screen right now. Good night, God bless. We're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse.